It was early, too early for even the most curious spectators to arrive downtown. Police and acoustical experts worked almost silently in the five o'clock darkness, putting up barricades and anchoring microphones. Journalists perched on nearby buildings and crowded the street behind the closest barricade. Everyone waited for enough light to begin the test. Finally, at 7.10, the first shot. This time, the shot was expected. Still, the crackling retort caught many people off guard, as it must have that day 15 years ago. Only moments before, the president had smiled and the crowd had cheered as the motorcade moved down Elm Street towards sudden chaos. But the eerie memories evoked by the sight of a rifle pointing out of the sixth floor window soon gave way to the controlled atmosphere of a scientific test. A line of microphones replaced the motorcade. Three sandbag targets marked the spots where the original bullets hit. Dallas police sharpshooters pumped more than 50 bullets into the bags, aiming from the window of the school book depository where Oswald allegedly stood, and from the grassy knoll just south of the building, where speculators say a second gunman might have stood. The 15 microphones recorded the sound prints of the bullets. Using sophisticated acoustical equipment, which was not available during the Warren Commission's work, technicians will be able to chart those prints and compare them with those of a recording made in 1963, when a traffic policeman unknowingly left his radio on during the assassination. Chief Scientist James Barger was reluctant to talk about the test. Uh, no, I don't want to comment on the test right now. Uh, I haven't had a chance to analyze the results. Do you think they were successful? Well, I haven't had a chance to analyze the results. Well, the test went rather smoothly. I thought uh, you probably recorded them today, and the analysis is fairly straightforward. Barger expects to finish the analysis in a week. He'll report to the House Assassinations Committee in early September. The test should determine which of the sounds in the original tape were gunshots and which were echoes, which the experts hope will prove how many shots were fired on November 22nd and whether Lee Harvey Oswald was the only man who fired them. Karen Parfit, The Texas News.